Hi guys, welcome back to another HTML programming tutorial. In this video, you'll be learning how you can inspect any HTML element on a web page. So, take for instance, this is a website, and I want to inspect how this website was uh, was built, and I want to inspect some of the HTML elements used on this website. So all you have to do is put your mouse on on the website. So you over the mouse on the website, and then you right click. So when you right click, it's going to display different items. So you just scroll down and click. on you see view page source on any web browser you are using, so just click on it, and it will automatically open a new tab. So you can see these are the HTML elements. Some of the HTML elements used. You can see doc type html which is our declaration uh the html language en us and the edge so now i can actually inspect some of the html uh code that was used here for instance if i want to search for okay um i hello dear i am our yemi so all you have to do is come back here and then press command f here on mac if you're on, on, on Windows, just press Ctrl F. So it means find, and then I can write I am our Yemi Victor. You can see it, it takes me straight. So that was line 169, and then I can see the heading that was used for the LO there. They use heading 4. Now for the I, I am our Yemi Victor, we discussed this one earlier. They use heading one to write this test, and now um, followed by I'm um, a software programmer entrepreneur. So this is it. I'm a software programmer, entrepreneur, content creator. As you can see, they use paragraph. Then followed by two buttons, my works and contact me. So these are the two buttons. You can see. This is the way to write this uh we've discussed this one earlier in our last session as well how to write how to input insert link in an html test so this is the test my works and then uh a h r e f followed by the link uh then they close it so you can see the same thing for the second link as well so this is how you can inspect any web page any HTML element on the web page. So this is the simple approach to do that. And then all I have to do, if I want to create my website as well, I can just quickly copy this out and then use it on my HTML course. So that will be all for this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I publish new videos. See you soon.